Yes, so this is a 1973 BMW 3 CSL, uh, otherwise known as the Batmobile. Uh, it's currently live on collectingcars.com, went live today. Um, it's one of 167, so a little bit of history about this car. It was originally delivered to Sweden. Um, the first owner had it for 35 years, uh, and then spent extensive restoration and for a three year period. Keeping its original engine, uh, and original paint colour. Absolutely stunning. I mean, I think you'll all agree, ladies and gentlemen, what an evocative livery, what an incredible looking machine. Thank you very much indeed. Best of luck with, the, with selling it. All right. The three litre CSL, ladies and gentlemen. Dog leg first, of course. <laughs> Thank you very much. Moving on now to the 924 Carrera GT in black. Wow, what a fantastic. I'm going to have to come around the other side, aren't I? Um, incredible emerging classic car ladies and gentlemen a modern classic in every sense turbocharged carrera gt um do you know a little bit about the car uh, it's one of 75 uk uh supplies uh 924s um it's got 40 000 miles for, uh, straight in line four it's just a beautiful car previously owned by lord bamford himself who's a reputable collector as well Indeed, superb provenance. What a beautiful machine. Thank you very much indeed. Carrera GT, ladies and gentlemen. Next up is one of the sort of supercars of the moment, really, you could say. The Carrera GT, finished in, I believe, an individual colour. Black. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Can you tell me a little bit about your car? Yeah, so this is a painter sample, leather to sample, UK supplied Carrera GT. So... Uh, I believe there are 60 odd examples by the UK. Mileage? What kind of mileage? 3,000 miles. From oh, wow. Yeah, just funny. Just service to Porsche. Fantastic. It's an absolutely stunning vehicle. Thank you very much for bringing it. Best of luck with the sale. V10, normally aspirated manual gearbox. They don't build them anymore, so absolutely stunning. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, Tom Hartley is the 250 Cabriolet. Goodness me. Some 60s exotica for you here, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, sir. How can you tell me a little bit about your Ferrari, please? Yes, this is a 1960 Ferrari 250 GT Spider. And uh, have you owned it for long, or has it been something in your collection? No, this is a car that's for sale at Tom Hartley Cars, and uh, it's for sale for £1.6 million. Pounds. Fantastic. I'm sure people can come and find you if they'd like to buy it. Excellent. What a beautiful machine. Thank you very much indeed. Next up, we have the beautiful Ferrari Daytona, ladies and gentlemen. Matthew, good afternoon. Um, can you tell me a bit about your Daytona? Because I think it's a bit special, isn't it? It's the uh, first car into the UK, 68, um, and actually the 15th car built total. 15th? We still got the back three, uh, recently it's its original colours, um, and yeah, 15th car built. Wow, wow. absolutely stunning. Plexiglass example, of course, ladies and gentlemen, and the colour is just azure. Amazing. Thank you very much indeed, Matthew. Beautiful Daytona. The first UK delivered example. Absolutely stunning. Now then, ladies and gentlemen, another supercar of the moment. The Enzo Ferrari, also represented through Simon. Good afternoon, Wolfie. How are you? Right. Good. Can you tell me about your engine, please? Uh, UK supplied car. Um, it's signed by the full 2005 Ferrari Formula 1 team. So we have Schumacher's signature on the bonnet. Yeah. Under the bonnet, we have Barrichello, De Montezemolo, Jean Todd, with some really cool paperwork from the period where all that was sorted out. And yeah, so it's nice and unique. Really interesting pictures with this uh, cloth seats. Well, yeah, I haven't seen cloth seats in one of these. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Oh, quilted. Thank you, Wolfie. I'll see you later. What a beautiful example. And I've crossed the road here to see William. Hello, William. Good afternoon. Now then, this is something a bit special, isn't it? Come on, tell us all about it. Well, it is indeed. This is uh, actually Supercar of the Month, we're very pleased to say. It was shown by the magazines. And uh, it's a 1925 Super Sports. They only made 18. They came with a written guarantee to 100 miles an hour in 1925. Does it still do 100 miles an hour? That's really what everyone wants to know. Oh, I do. You have to ask the new owner. <laughs> I think you need to test it out this afternoon, gentlemen. Thank you, William. Stunning. Bentley Super Sports, ladies and gentlemen. Supercar of the pre-war era. Very original looking coachwork. I'm having to, these left and right hand drives, I'm having to swap around all the time here. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Another three litre CSL. Batmobile, of course. 
Oh, oh, it's his car. Oh, excuse me. Oh, dear, oh dear. Right. Can you tell me a bit about your? Hi, so uh, it's a lovely 1974 uh, three-litre Batmobile, just been restored, uh, two-year restoration, and it's one of 57 cars. And a genuine Batmobile, of course, right? So don't be confused with a normal three-litre CSL. This has the Batmobile bits on it, and um, I must say, it's uh, absolutely stunning, gentlemen. Thank you very much for bringing it along. Wow. Next up. We have the 300 SL Roadster, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, Mrs. Wise. How are you? Nice to see you again. Nice to see you as well. You look a lot better than your partner does in this vehicle, I must say. Um, can you tell me a little bit about it? It's from 1958. Uh, it drives amazing. It looks fantastic. And so do you, can I just add. And look, what a fantastic vehicle. It really does look beautiful. Thank you very much for bringing it along. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, the 300 SL Roadster, fantastic. Next up, oh, excuse me, it's the partner. Now, I'm sorry, I just, I had to say that your, your partner looked a bit better driving that vehicle than you. No, it's obviously. Tell me about your Shelby GT350. Um, bought it off of uh, an elderly gentleman at uh, 90 years old who owned it for 45 years and she's one previous owner with 36,000 miles. Wow, I, I mean you really couldn't find this car even if you tried, right? Howard, it's a stunning example, thank you very much for bringing it along. Cheers. Ah, the resident Aston Martin specialist Dylan Miles, ladies and gentlemen, in an Aston Martin DB5 conversion. Dylan. This looks very similar to your family car. Yes, it's, uh, it, it is very similar. It isn't the same car. Sorry. <laughs> but it is, you should know, you've been in it. I have, I have. Uh, yeah, no, this is, this is a supercar. It's totally restored by RS Williams. Total body off restoration. It's done about a thousand miles since it was restored. And it's, I'd say, you know, the nicest one around at the moment. It's a lovely car to drive. Super happy to be here with it today. Amazing. Thank you very much. And what a beautiful passenger, I must say. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Dylan Miles and his DB5 convertible. Stunning. Look at that. Wow, incredible. Next up, Mihai Negrescu is here in his Aston Martin V8. Mihai, good afternoon. You have a manual V8 here. Please tell me a little bit. Uh, so it's 105 uh, Oscar India V8 delivered in Sebring Blue, and the only one with the blue interior. Um, 42,000 original miles. Um, and it's for sale. It is for sale with uh, my good friend Dylan Miles. Fantastic. Thank you, Mihai. Beautiful car. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, the Rolls Royce. Coming from us from Graham Hunt, no less. And a dog in the, in the driving along. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Hello. What can you tell me about your lovely Rolls Royce? Ah, uh, Series 1A, known from new, 20,000 miles. Goodness me. And, and the dog? And the dog, Italian Greyhound. Fantastic. Absolutely stunning. Perfect vehicle. Thank you very much for bringing it along. What a colour, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that Corniche. Okay, another Graham Hunt vehicle coming up the 280SL Pagoda in a very unusual colour, ladies and gentlemen. Um, wow, what a car. What's the name of the colour, sir? 280SL Pagoda. Ah, yes, but the colour is, is, is quite exceptional and quite unique. Yes, it's called Wildberry. Wildberry, okay, thank you very much. Wow, I mean, I can't say I've ever seen a 280SL Pagoda in Wildberry, but what a beautiful vehicle. How does it drive? Beautifully. Excellent, I'd like to think so. It really does look the part. Thank you very much for bringing it along. What a stunning example, ladies and gentlemen. 280SL Pagoda, favourite amongst most classic car enthusiasts, I'm sure you'll agree. And here we have a lovely, lovely little E-Type. Hello, sir. Good afternoon. Can you tell me a bit about your E-Type? It's a 1961 flat floor, uh, UK right-hand drive by birth, uh, full matching numbers, just literally out of restoration. It's done 50 miles from restoration. Wow, absolutely stunning. And Ali Dash, early car. On a day like today, would you really want to be driving anything else? Not a bit of it. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. Cheers. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, next up we have a TVR Trident prototype, no less. This is one of one. It is a Turin Motor Show car from memory and a very, very unique British vehicle. Good afternoon. 
Is it a bit hot in there? Oh, okay, right. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll skip past that. Um, tell me a little bit about your lovely TBR. So it is a 1965 um, TBR Trident. It's a prototype that was um, produced for the Turin Motor Show. So Italian-bodied vehicle? That's correct, yeah. Um, with British un engineering underneath? So yeah, it's, um, it's kind of a nice combination of the two. So the nice, fine, smooth lines of an Italian sports car. V8 engine, it's, yeah, it's great. And it's totally unique. You won't see another one. <laughs> today. You won't see another one today. Thank you very much, sir. What a beautiful car. Okay, next up, we have a left-hand drive Aston Martin V8 Vantage in what has to be described as a fairly unique colour. I can't say I've ever seen a yellow with yellow V8 Vantage. Good afternoon, madam. Good afternoon. Can you tell me a little bit about your We're in a 1987 Aston Martin um, Vantage X-Pack. It's sunburst yellow. Couldn't be more appropriate, right? And, and is the interior, um, you know, are you thinking the interior suits the daylight today or, you know? Perfect, sunburst yellow and uh, yellow and red leather. Wow, I, I must say, I've never ever seen a V8 Vantage in that, that, that colour or that spec and is uh, totally unique. But thank you very much, Long, for bringing it along. <laughs> you won't miss, you know. Thank you very much. Wow. A superb colour for a V8 Vantage. Now I'm going to cross over again. Ladies and gentlemen, to the Aston Martin DB4. Good afternoon, sir. Could you tell me a little bit about your DB4, please? Series 4 DB4. Yeah. Uh, fully restored by us, RS Williams. Yeah. And um, originally built with GG Dash, electric windows, are standard. It's the ultimate DB4. And the engine, have you done anything to the engine? Uh, we've converted it to 4.7 litre. Okay, so it's pumping out north of 300 brake horsepower. Wow, fantastic. Actually, beautiful example. Thank you very much for bringing it along. It's a DB4. <laughs> Looks like a DB5 from behind, but it's actually a DB4. Ah, um, oh, Mr. Moody, good afternoon. What a lovely looking car. Happy, happy fatherhood to you. Well, well, thank you very much, Anthony. And, uh, yes, indeed. Highly recommend it. A manual V8 Aston Martin Volante on a day like today. Well, it's the perfect car because for a man like you with two children, you see the seats in the back? They could fit in there very easily, and it was a perfect car for you. Absolutely. Um, it's a beautiful colour combination. It looks almost too good in terms of condition, so thank you very much. It's a great pleasure to be here. Well, Anthony, it's a pleasure to see you, and what a... RSW restoration, no less. Thank you very much, Anthony. Beautiful example. Next up, we have Will Stone. In the E-Type Lightweight, ladies and gentlemen. Will, good afternoon. Are you a bit hot in there? Yeah. Okay. Um, tell us quickly a bit about this car. This is a, uh, a Lynx low-drag Jaguar. So um, a copy of the famous Linda Knocker Lightweight E-Type. And um, it's for sale with you right now, today. And um, I, I shan't keep you in the heat too much longer, but thank you very much, Will. It's an absolutely stunning car. And um, really, fantastic example. So thank you for bringing it along. Cheers. Wow, listen to that, ladies and gentlemen. The low drag, Lynx E-Type. Next up, we have my colleague, Anders Built here, in a lovely little Dino. Good afternoon, Anders. Good Will, how are you? I'm very well. What are you driving? 206. Yes, and what's, tell me what's special about a 206. Well, for starters, all aluminium body. That's where it's really special. Okay. Of course, it's got the early all aluminium two liter uh, V6 engine rather than the 2.4 that came later. Yeah. They're rarer, earlier. It's, 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 the, it's the original Dino, if you will. Mate, it's amazing. Thank you very much. He's come all the way from Denmark, ladies and gentlemen, to drive this car today. So I really appreciate it. Thank you, Anders. Beautiful example. Thank you very much, mate. The little 206 Dino, ladies and gentlemen. Very rare car. Harvey Stanley, I'm going to come round. Oh. And another man, Mr. Classic, good afternoon. Gents, what are you in? This is uh, the AC MA200, so it's a one-off prototype built by AC uh, in between the Ace and the Cobra. And uh, Cobra engine? Yeah, a 289 Cobra engine. Fantastic. I mean, I can't say I've ever seen one, Harvey. So, you know, and you sat in it is quite the tempting proposition. With passenger as well, I really, I think the people are quivering at the knees right now. I always did make you weaker than knees. Thank you, Harvey. Right, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. That's amazing. Look at that. The prototype AC with the Cobra engine, no less. 
Ah, another Will. Good afternoon, sir. I'm going to come round to you because you're in a very charming little little Fiat Oscar. What, what are you driving today? This is a 1961 Fiat Oscar 1500S. It's absolutely charming, and I mean, it looks incredibly well restored. Have you restored it yourself? We have not. It's restored in America, and it is impeccable. I really is, Will. Thank you very much for bringing it along on a day like today. You look the man, I must say. You really do. Thank you, Will. Aha! Mr. Wrightson, good afternoon. Now, I'm told this is a bit special. Go on, tell me about it. It is a little bit special. It's, um, it's done what I'd call the Holy Trinity. So it did Le Mans 1954 for the works. Uh, it did the Mille Mille three times, 54, 56, 57, and the Targa Floro twice. So whatever you want to do, it's done it in period. That's incredible problems. And actually, you don't even have room for a passenger because you're so conscious of your aerodynamic abilities that you don't even have any room for a passenger. Incredible. Thank you, Richard. Beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, what incredible problems. Le Mans history, Oscar. Ladies and gentlemen, next up, the DBS, Aston Martin. Good afternoon, sir. This is a DBS six-cylinder, is that right? Yeah, fuel injection car. Oh. One of uh, only two now left in the world. Two in the world? Yeah. Still running on the Brightco system, so, uh, yeah. Is that because the people in period didn't like the system, or they just favoured carbs were easier? It didn't work in the time. <laughs> yeah. But you've made it work. It does, yeah. We fully restored the car about three years ago. Fantastic. So it's, uh, yeah, beautiful, beautiful system now, so it works. It's really well, I must say, it's idling extremely smooth. It's not moving. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you very much indeed. What a beautiful example. Really, you can't hear about it. Alex, you can't hear. You might want to stand a bit closer to the speakers. But that's the. You can hear me from here. That's okay, right? Okay. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, is the Ferrari Daytona. Um, idling along here in Rosso Corsa. Good afternoon, sir. Could you tell me a little bit about your Daytona, please? Yeah, it's a 1973 car, and it follows. It's got the wider wheels, the option at the back, slightly flare bodywork. It's interesting in history, it's only three owners from new, and it's 50 years old. Mileage is very low, 38,000 miles. And uh, yeah, and it's an award-winning car. It won the, uh, uh, at the Arts and Elegance exhibition in Paris. Uh, it won its class there. So yeah, it's done quite well. Fantastic, thank you very much, sir. What a beautiful example, really clean, lovely indeed. We're gonna move it this way a bit. Lucky you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Barkaway is here. In what has to be one of the most charming little Alfa Romeos I think I've ever seen. Mr. Barkaway, can you tell me a bit about your Alfa Romeo, please? This is some of this very special little car, this car. Um, we did it about seven years ago. It went to Blenheim Palace last year and won the Pininfarina class. We spent over 3,000 hours on this car. This car had the full restoration that we do to like Lusos and 275s. The detail, we had like the glass made for it, the window etchings, the bumpers were made. Uh, it, we did the whole kitchen sink on this car, which is why it looks like it does. I think you can see that, Ian. Thank you very much for bringing it along. It is charming, delightful, Italian exotica at its finest. Really, really beautiful. Thank you very much. Cheers, Ian. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have Mr. Gregor Fiskin. <laughs> In his Delahaye, 1936, I believe. Mr. Fiskin, good afternoon. Could you tell me a little bit about your car? So I've got in trouble for making lots of noise. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, we don't mind lots of noise. And um, well, tell me a little bit about the history of this vehicle. Well, she's quite special. She was built in 1936 to yep. do Le Mans. Uh, sadly, Le Mans was cancelled that year, but she did all the major sports car races before 1939. Uh, she was owned by a, a, a very wealthy French chocolatier, so he made his money in chocolate and he spent it on the sweet sport of motorsport. He sold it to another Frenchman called René Cotin, who in 1948 took her on the Mille Millia, finished the Mille Millia, and though she was an old car in 1952, she heroically entered the Monaco Sports Car Grand Prix 
And even though she was, you know, many years old, she managed to come eighth overall. And she's just a fantastic old warrior. She's got a competition history as long as your arm. And she's a remarkably good fettle and very original. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Gregor. I mean, you haven't had far to come, but wow, what a vehicle to bring. Really special. Ladies and gentlemen, the 1936 Delahaye. Next up, a vehicle familiar to most people, the Gullwing 300 SL, brought to us by Daniel Donovan Classics, no less. And I believe this car has a little bit of an interesting history. So would you mind telling us a little bit about it? Yeah, absolutely. It's, um, it's one of four competition cars by the factory, and it won the 1957 European Rally. Wow. Uh, we, we, the European Rally uh, taking place all over Europe? Yeah, it, it was in... Um, Greece, Italy, Holland, Switzerland, yeah. And Goodness me, I mean, that's incredible provenance. And it looks, I must say, impeccably restored. Yeah, it's recently had a full body restoration by Dame Benz Classic, so, wow. Doesn't get better than that? Thank you very much indeed. I'm, I think the doors open's a good shout today. <laughs> Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, next up from, also from DB Classics, is the Aston Martin DB2. Good afternoon, sir. This car looks very nice indeed. Can you tell me a bit about it? Unfortunately, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's a DB24 Mark, Mark II Tickford fixed head coupe. He's <laughs> well done for you. Well, I shan't um, take up any more of your time, but it does look beautiful and you look very good in it. So thank you very much. Cheers. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is an MGA, but not like any MGA that you might have seen before. This is a totally unique MGA. Could you tell us a little bit about this car, sir? Yeah, basically it's the MG that MG never built. <laughs> I see. <laughs> no, I just designed it and built it myself. Wow, incredible. And what do you, what were you aiming to achieve there with your build? A nice grand touring car. Yeah. yeah. Something that will do, something that will do the Alps without uh, problems, without brake fade, etc. And uh, room in the back for luggage. Absolutely beautiful. I must say, it's a really unique vehicle and certainly the first I've ever seen. So thank you very much for bringing it. Really lovely, ladies and gentlemen. The MGA special, really beautifully built. Mr. Winnington, good afternoon. A lovely little Healy. Could you tell me a little bit about it? 1953, 104, BN1, totally restored. California car, original left-hand drive. Wow. Windscreen down. Yep, cool. Got to be done, really cool. Thank you, Keith, looks beautiful. Really lovely example of the Healy 100M. Next up, something completely different. And something very 90s, very supercar, very exotic. Good afternoon. Could you tell me a bit about your VT Diablo Roadster? Oh, it's a very unique car. Lovely.